dirty vents, diesel fumes. What are you breathing in when you ride Metro? It's a great question. Two investigator Dave Savini wanted to know and launched an investigation. He joins us now with what he found. Dave. Kate and Rob, we conducted two types of testing, and according to health and science experts, what we uncovered is a problem for commuters. Thick smoke and exhaust from commuter trains fill Union Station and seep into passenger cars. It's like we're just breathing in all these fumes. And the ventilation systems on trains? Covered in filth. Vent after vent, train after train. These marks along walls and ceilings were made by air circulating through the cabins. So what we found is concerning? Yes, it is. It's astounding, a little bit dismaying. The two investigators did field testing with the Illinois Institute of Technology, using special monitors to detect levels of dangerously small or ultrafine particles that can penetrate deep into your lungs, causing health problems. Oh, wow. 400,000 particles per cubic centimeter. That's, that's huge. That's, that's more than, than what you'll find around a highway. IIT's Brent Stevens and his students found higher exposure levels on outbound trains, which are pulled by the engine because diesel exhaust particles flow through passenger cars, versus inbound trains, which are pushed by the engine in the rear. These levels are very alarming. They're very high. Ultrafine particles were about 17 times higher when the engine was in front pulling the train. And the fine particles, called PM2.5, were about 100 times higher. A concern, says lung disease expert Dr. Robert Cohen. These particles that are really tiny can cause increased heart attacks and stroke. The two investigators also took samples from the ventilation system. When you saw me do this, what was your reaction? A little concerned about what the long-term effects of that may be. We conducted lab tests. Chris Palinek at Microtrace found even more ultrafine particles. They were composed largely of metal particles, iron or steel. Just have a simple magnet. Iron and steel particles that can end up in your lungs. These exposures aren't healthy, they're not good, and uh, I think that it, it should be something that should be addressed. Are the CBS2 findings a concern? They are a concern. Michael Gillis is Metra's spokesman. Was anyone aware they had gotten this dirty? I don't know. What was your reaction when you saw what we pulled off those vents? They clearly should be cleaning the vents and, and we have addressed that. He says they follow EPA standards, have switched to cleaner fuel and upgraded the filters, but admits there are no EPA standards to regulate the ultrafine particles, despite the potential health effects. And we have no standards on these two particular compounds. Do you think there needs to be? Well, the EPA is looking into that. We know that, that diesel exhaust is a, is a carcinogen. That's scary. Yeah, that's very scary. Your exposure risks tend to be higher when you stand in the vestibule or sit in the first four to five cars behind the engine on outbound trains. Dr. Cohen says keeping the vents clean could help protect passengers, but more needs to be done, especially at rush hour when fumes are at the worst level. The EPA confirms they are currently investigating ultra-fine particles but have not set any limits yet. So if they keep the vents clean, because obviously that's posing a problem, they're not always clean, will it still get those ultrafine particles that are causing these problems? It will help a little bit, but as long as Union Station is in a cavern like that, mm. those fumes have really nowhere to go. All right. But you're convinced that Metra is serious about correcting this problem? There needs to be a long-term plan, Rob. They need, to be, they need to change the types of trains eventually, because okay. you can't keep doing that in Union Station. Sure. All right. Fair enough. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Dave. You know,